If you haven't checked out Scrintel, it's time you do. It's a digital canvas that's going to plaster your ideas into something digital so your team members and you can actually follow and be on the same page. Now, they've added some new features like tasks, new sidebar, highlight text, and much more. So let's go check it out right now. What's up, SAS Masters? Like I said, this is Scrintel, and if you want to check it out, the link we provided in the description. Now, the idea is to check out the new features because I've made some past videos. If you haven't followed through my last videos, I do recommend that you watch the first video from Scrintel. Now, for the new features, let's actually check out this video. Now, this is my Scrintel digital canvas, and I'm going to show you the new features. So first off, let's get started with tasks. So they've added tasks to this feature. So let's go ahead and open this up. And now we're able to obviously have a digital canvas that's meant for a task. And that way your team members and you can actually follow through really easily. So let's get started by creating a brand new task. So let's go into one of our boards right here. Let me go ahead and open this one up and I'll create a new card. And in this card, I am going to create a task. So let me go ahead and open this up and I'll just name this make video for writing. And I'm going to add some task right here. So let's go ahead and add a task list and I'll say script then i'll add another task which would be for example recording and one more published video obviously you would have a bunch of tasks but these tasks are going to be automatically added into the task section so let me go ahead and open this up and now we have neatly formed our task right here so you can go ahead and view it in the board or the cards etc or go into the task section if there's a task available so it makes it super easy uh, for us to follow this through now you can go ahead and use tags, users, date, and incompleted cards. If you want to mark this, you can view it here or expand it from here. So it's a really easy way to use task. Now for the new sidebar, let's go into a board again. Let's go into this one. There's a new sidebar on the right that I'm going to click on it. And it's going to make it easier for us to navigate through our cards. So for example, I can search through links, search through this search bar system, the information for this one and actions for it. So I can unstar the board, share or publish, copy link to clipboard or delete it. So it makes it easy for us to navigate. Another feature that they've added here is web links. So let me go ahead and add the web link. I'm going to select it and I'm going to add it right here. I'm going to type in my URL. So sasmaster.net, hit enter. And now we have a web link right here. I can go ahead and make it bigger if I like. I can change the color. I can open link in a new tab, copy link to clipboard, or just go ahead and delete it or toggle the layout if I want to change it. So that's one of the features that they've implemented. Now, another one is highlighting text. So inside of a card, we can highlight a specific section of the text. This is super useful, especially when there's a long text inside of a card. So let me go ahead and open this one up. Let's just say that something's really important right here. And I'll say music videos should be really important. So let's go ahead and highlight this. There's this little pencil right here, which I'm going to select. And now this is highlighted. So if we click away and we jump into this card really quickly, we can see it's highlighted and it's easy for us to locate it. Now that's some of the features that they've added into Scrintel. And there's many more that they've added. You can check these out in release notes. And if you want to check it out Scrintel, I do recommend that you jump into the link in the description. And that's a wrap.